Hey guys, I'm Hayden from Van Roy Machinery and today we're looking at our Stoppel water meter and Stoppel water chiller. So first off, just going over the basics of the machine, you have your liters at the top and how much water you're going to be dosing into your product. The temperature that it's currently reading, so that temperature is read from the top of the hose. And then you have your buttons at the bottom. So to operate the water meter, first what we'll do is we'll restart so we have a clear liters at the top. We can select how many liters we want. So I'm going to do four liters and I do want to change my temperature. To change the temperature, use the dial at the bottom here, but the temperature won't change until the water is running. So it's just like your tap that you would normally use at home. So you have to watch the water flowing through and you'll see the temperature change. So I'm going to make the water become colder. I'm going to dose into a bucket, but we can always dose straight into a mixer. So once I start it, you'll see the temperature will begin to drop. You need to make sure that you don't try to overshoot your temperature. So I've gone for full cold here, but I actually don't want it to be completely cold. So I'm going to start warming it up now. I'd like to settle at about 14 degrees. So we're just going with small movements, otherwise it'll completely overshoot. And once you have it set at the temperature you need it to be, it'll actually hold that temperature for the rest of the day unless the water temperature coming into the building changes. So now we're at 14 degrees. I won't use this water in my dough because that whole water is not going to be 14. But the next dose that I do, I can select the exact liters I need. So let's say I was doing a bag worth of flour and I needed 7.7 .7 liters of water. Then I can put the hose in the bowl press start and it will begin dosing.